According to a report from the AP, police officials say Doug Ramsey, the chief operations officer of Beyond Meat, has been charged with felony battery and making a terroristic threat after a fracas outside a football game in which he's accused of biting a man's nose. Quite ironic for the leader of a plant-based movement. Now, if you look up Beyond Meat, their mission statement goes like this, and I quote, by shifting from animal to plant-based meat, we can positively affect the planet, the environment, the climate, and even ourselves. After all, the positive choices we make every day, no matter how small, can have a great impact on our world. Sounds super rainbows and butterflies when you look at it. Now let's look at this image from their website. So this is what I call window dressing for the ignorant. If you look, they claim no GMOs, no soy, no gluten. They claim their products being kosher and then they have this big stamp that says plant-based protein. And if you look at their package, it says really big across the top, 35% less saturated fat. And, and, and that's comparatively to a cow, right, to actual cow meat. Now what's in one of these burgers? Well, there are several things. Number one ingredient is water, followed by pea protein, and then you get the expeller pressed canola oil, refined coconut oil, rice protein, natural flavors, dried yeast, and then a handful of synthetic vitamins that they have to add because if they didn't add these vitamins then this plant-based meat product would be extremely malnourishing. Now it's already an ultra processed food that's making huge bold claims stating that it's a much healthier option for the planet and also a much healthier option for human health. But what aren't they telling us? Well, number one, they're not telling us that there's no essential fatty acid in this meat, that there's no carnitine, that there's very little or poor vitamin E, that the sources of synthetic vitamins that they're adding don't hold a candle to the bioavailability of the nutrients found in real meat. Those are the things that they're leaving out. Those are the occlusions um, on purpose, I would say, to, to mislead or to misguide people who are more ignorant and aren't asking these questions. But what else are they not saying from an environmental perspective? Remember, most if not all of the ingredients in this product are derived from monocropping the land. And if we look at what monocropping does, it destroys the base of the soil. It destroys the microorganisms in the soil. By adding all these synthetic fertilizers, you actually create dead zones of growth in the environment around the farms that grow these plant-based products on an industrialized scale. What else are they not telling you? And although these products are labeled non-GMO, that pesticides are used in their production. So this growing of massive agricultural scale basically destroys the microbiome of the soil through the application of a numerous different types of pesticides. How healthy is that for the planet when you consider this company's mission statement? What they're also not telling you is that saturated fat, which they make a bold claim on the label as being lower in saturated fat, they're not telling you that saturated fat is actually good for you and that we're not worried about saturated fat coming from animals and that those original studies that demonize saturated fat were actually fraudulent studies published uh, in, at Harvard and those have since been retracted. So again, they use a lot of window dressing and a lot of you know, bullet point tactics to get your attention, but, but I would really question the ethics and moral of a company that have these types of practices. If you go to their website, some of the claims that they make is that they use 99% less water and that their production process creates less greenhouse gas emissions and that's why it's better for the planet. But the independent study that they're citing was actually paid for by their parent company. So there's bias in that and you really can't trust it. Again, it boils back down to trust. They're using manipulative marketing techniques similar to what we've seen deployed in the past. Let's take a look at some examples of, of healthy foods that we now know are not so healthy after all, but at the time, the world was convinced they were healthy because they were brilliant marketers and, and commercials driven toward this thought process. Granola bars, cereal, processed yogurt, sports drinks, the gluten-free food aisle, all those package items for the most part on that aisle are junk. 
fat-free. You remember in the 80s when everything was labeled fat-free, when candy was labeled fat-free so that parents could buy more of it and feel safe and confident that they weren't poisoning their kids? Cholesterol-free, diet sodas, non-dairy creamers, and even one step further back, we can even look at the history of trends nutritionally in the U.S. These were trends that were set to us, that were put forth to us by authorities um, and so the first one being animal fat is bad, right? And processed grains are good. If you go back to the early 1900s, this is the message that was basically being pushed out across, uh, across the country nutritionally. Then we fast forward a little bit and we're told that butter is now bad for you and that hydrogenated vegetable oils are better for you. You know, those seed oils where they force hydrogen into them using nickel catalysts and other toxic heavy metal catalysts. Yeah, those oils that are banned in some states now because they cause heart disease those were at one time super healthy for you probably they saved the planet too if the marketers had had this information today that's probably what they would have tried to sell you remember a time when smoking was good and doctors would actually say this brand is better than that brand remember that sugar was bad at one point and artificial sugars were better for you and then it was corn sugar wasn't as bad for you as regular cane sugar remember when saturated fat became the evil bad guy and carbs all of a sudden became this great thing and then the entire population of the United States became obese within a decade. Yeah, all those things, all those truths, those scientific facts that somebody somewhere was marketing to you trying to make more money by getting you to buy at the end of the day more processed garbage in the guise of a health food. And sorry, Beyond Meat and these other fake meat companies are no different. They're just new players on the scene. Same trick, same joke. Don't let it be played on you.